Hi YBM, this is Kaylee. I am so excited today to bring you a nice stretch video. We are gonna take it slow today. We'll start with some dynamic stretches to get the blood pumping through all of your muscles. Um, and then we will slow it down and do more static style stretches um, to just really hold um, in some of those isometric movements just to really um, release that lactic acid buildup after a couple days of working out. It's just really good to get a solid stretch in. So just follow along with me. If you want to put on some nice, calm, relaxing music, please feel free to do so. Um, and then just follow along, okay? So we are going to start with some nice, big forward arm circles, swimmer style. Allow your trunk to rotate a little bit with this if you want to. And we're going to change direction going backwards. Again, rotate your trunk with that. Just like you would if you were in a pool. Awesome. Nice big shoulder rolls to the back. Draw big circles. Bringing those shoulders up towards your ears and then dropping them nice and low. Good. Two more. Last one. Awesome. Let's go forward with those shoulders. Same thing. Hold a lot of stress and tension in our shoulders. We really need to break that up. One more. Awesome. Take your right arm across your chest and pull. Release. Opposite side. We're going to alternate here. Same motion. Just about a three second hold. One more to each side. Still working out those shoulders. Awesome. Next thing we're gonna do, bring your right arm up, over, reach behind you. Grab your left hand, hold on to your right elbow and pull it back behind you. Tricep stretch, release, switch sides. We're gonna alternate just like we did with the shoulder stretch. Release. One more to each side. Last one. Very good. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and do some leg stretches. So we're gonna start by pulling up on your right knee, pull it to your chest, release and alternate. Feel that in your glutes, your hamstrings. One more to each side, get a good squeeze. Awesome. Next one is a quad pull. If you need to hold on to something, feel free. We're gonna grab your right foot, hold on, find your balance, and slowly lean forward. Three second hold, switch. 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 And once more. Very nice. Let's go into a nice uh, wide stance, knees straight, and I want you to just slowly, slowly, slowly fold forward towards the floor. Let your hands come down towards the floor. You can wobble side to side if you want to, just move really organically here. And start to walk your hands over towards your right foot. And go back over to the left. Back to the middle. And then reach behind you. Awesome. 
All right, slowly, slowly, slowly roll back up. You're going to keep your toes facing forward and then go into a right side lunge. So you're bending your right leg, left leg stays straight, and I just want you to enjoy that stretch through your left inner thigh. Next thing we're gonna do is bring your left arm straight up above your head. Look up at that elbow, take a deep breath in, exhale and fold over towards your right side and you're just resting your elbow, right elbow on your right knee and you're gonna reach, 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 reach that hand outward, look up at your elbow. All right, let's switch sides, go into the left leg lunge and we're just gonna hang out here and enjoy that stretch in the straight leg first. Rest your left elbow on your left knee, take a deep breath in, inhale your arm, right arm up, look up at that elbow, exhale, fold over your left leg. Look up at that elbow. Very good, all right. Bring your feet back together, cross your right foot over your left foot, and we're going to slowly descend down towards your feet, reaching for the floor. Feel that stretch up your, through your calves. It's really important to breathe while we stretch, so keep nice deep breaths going in through your nose and exhaling out of your mouth. Let's switch legs, left over right, same motion. Awesome. All right, stand up. I'm going to have you guys grab your left foot with your left hand and grab your right knee with your right hand. And I just want you to pull upward. So you straighten out on that sturdy leg and pull your knee and foot towards your chest. Release it. We're going to alternate. Same thing on the other side. Pull first, open up your knee and then pull it towards your chest. Hold and then alternate. That should feel really intense through your quads, your hamstrings, and your glutes once you pull. Good, let's do one more to each side. Awesome. Okay, one more calf stretch. I want you guys to step forward with your right foot, plant your heel, toes come up off the floor. I want you to lean forward over that right leg and scoop with your hands, then alternate switch. So it's a scooping motion. We're gonna keep alternating a couple times. You feel that from your calf all the way up your hamstring. One more. Awesome. All right. Take a second here, take your right hand, pull your fingers back. So you're extending your right arm out, pull your fingers back, including your thumb. Back, back, back. Feel that stretch through your forearm. And now we're going to put your thumb in your palm and you're gonna press your fingers downward. All right, let's switch arms. Left hand, fingers back. And thumb into your palm, fingers down. Very good. All right. Now what I want you guys to do is a classic uh, downward dog motion. So we're going to walk our hands down slightly, walk your hands out into a plank, feet go back, but I want your butt to go up into the air. Drive your hands through the floor, spread your fingers, spread your toes, drive your sits bones into the air, and try to drive your heels to the floor. Rest your head and neck downward, press through your fingertips, 
Now we're going to pedal our feet one at a time, slowly. All right, come down to all fours while we're in this position. We're going to stretch out your back, your spine. So you're going to round your back on the inhale and then arch your back on the exhale. So it looks like this, inhaling up, exhaling, arch, look up, inhale, round your spine, exhale, arch your back. One more time, inhale, arch, sorry, round, <laughs> exhale, arch. That should feel really good on your back. All right, now open up your knees nice and wide and sit back on your heels. Bring your forehead towards the floor. This is child's pose called, but I actually want you to tuck your right arm underneath your left, palm facing up, and then bring your forehead to the floor. Now you feel the stretch in your lower back, in your legs, and in your shoulder. All right, left arm comes under the right this time, same thing. All right, you can come on up out of that, and we're gonna stay seated. I'm going to have you bring your feet together in the middle into a butterfly stretch. All right, from here, what I actually want you to do is give yourself a little foot massage. I don't know if you have sneakers on or not, but if you don't, um, give yourself a little foot massage while we're sitting in this position because typically a lot of people's inner thighs are very, very tight and this stretch is not comfortable. So what we're doing by rubbing our feet is we are releasing tension and we're also focusing on our feet rather than the tension in our inner thighs. And then slowly your muscles will re re relax into this position, sorry. Um, and then your elbows can start to push downward on your thighs too. As you're rubbing your feet, also just start to lean forward. If you're comfortable in this position and you're tired of rubbing your feet, you can start to walk your hands forward into this position. It's a little bit deeper and just breathe. Awesome. Let's take a second and do a supine twist. So left leg goes straight out right leg, foot goes over your left knee. Left arm comes up and crosses over your right knee and twist to look behind you. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, twist, looking behind you. You might get a crack in your back, but that's good. All right, let's switch sides. Left over right, right arm comes up and crosses over. Deep breath in. Exhale, twist. All right, so good. Both feet going straight out. Just reach down for your toes. If you can reach them, pull back on them. If you can't, that's okay. And then I'm going to have you on your belly. So from your belly, I'm going to have your elbows right under your shoulders, tucked in close to your sides. And you're just going to press your chest up off the floor. Just your chest. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Look up. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. So a little chest opener and a little uh, middle back stretch. All right, release that. Deep breath in, come up again. And exhale, go back down. Inhale, this time press all the way up through your fingers, all the way up and just really stretch out that back. You can shift side to side a little bit if you want to. That should feel really nice. 
All right. And now we're going to come onto your backs. Hug your knees into your chest. This is like my favorite. <laughs> Hug your knees in. And we did this for your high intensity workout in the free community, but I'm gonna do it with you guys too, just in case you missed that. Waddle your weight side to side while you're in this little ball. <laughs> This feels so good on your lower back, just going side to side. Next thing I want you to do is draw circles to the right with your knees. Again, we're massaging your lower back, feels amazing. Let's change direction and go to the left with that circle. Good. All right, arms go out to either side, like the cross of a T. Deep breath in, exhale, drop your knees to the right, look over your left shoulder. Again, you might get a crack in your back, and that's okay. Try to keep your shoulders down. Deep breath in, exhale, drop your knees to the left. Looking over your right shoulder, shoulders stay down. Awesome, hug your knees back into your chest again. And we're slowly gonna roll up onto your booty again. Bring your right foot in front of you, knee bent at a 90 degree angle. Left leg is also bent behind you at a 90 degree angle, okay? Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna lean over your front leg. If you can get yourself over that leg and onto the floor with your elbows, fantastic. If you can't, just stay up high, but you're gonna feel that stretch through your IT band and your hip flexor. Very nice. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So left leg, 90 degree angle, right leg 90 degree angle. Lean over your front leg. All right, so good. So I hope that you guys are feeling really awesome right now. Um, I think that stretching is one of the things that we forget to do, but flexibility um, really protects your bones and muscles and joints and ligaments from injury, right? So the more flexible you are, the less prone to injury you'll be. And also it just gives your, your muscles like active recovery. So rather than just on your rest day, just stopping and doing nothing, taking a day to stretch out and do a workout like this where you're just elongating your muscles, expanding and contracting them, stretching and being in an isometric hold um, is so vital um, for those muscles and for just the protection um, from injury. So thank you guys for joining me for your stretch um, for the month of October. I hope you guys are doing an amazing job this month. And if you need anything at all, don't hesitate to reach out to any of your coaches. We are 100% here to help you and support you in any way that we can. All right, take good care of yourselves. We love you, YBM.